hello Anna and greetings to you and to all your viewers and um, congrats for uh, the marvelous job you're doing for giving um, regular people people a voice in these very strange times. My name is uh, Bogdan. Um, I work as a customer service advisor for a prestigious store in London and I'm also as a hobby I'm a uh, I'm into guitars and songwriting and I have a small SoundCloud uh, channel. Um, I uh, moved to the UK almost six years ago and uh, lived uh, in um, London since, been living here since. And um, as I very much appreciate what you're doing um, with these videos, um, I uh, wanted to tell you my view as well, especially since I come from um, a country uh, that um, lived in uh, communism and dictatorship and even though I was 11 uh, years old when the communism uh, uh, fell in Eastern Europe I remember clearly those days and um, I can say for the first time in my 41 years yeah so in uh, in all these 30 years that have passed since uh, I have flashbacks right now from that era and um, I've never been so uh, concerned about what's going on in the world, not with the wars, not with the uh, terror, not uh, with the other pandemics, uh, be they real or not. But this time I'm really concerned and um, of course needless to say it's not about the virus. I don't believe in this pandemic and um, I'll be very clear because I really want to have things very accurate here and to have uh, uh, to really acknowledge what I'm saying. <clears throat> uh, I'm not saying the virus uh, doesn't exist, I can't say that. Uh, I'm just saying this is not a pandemic and uh, I believe every person in this world uh, which has like a, a basic um, a means to um, to sources online and uh, who can look for alternative sources of information and not just follow the government and mainstream media every person which it, uh, um, uh, possesses this means uh, by now should have realized something um, uh, very different is actually uh, going on here so um, yeah as a as a person who who came from who lived even though as a child um, in a <coughs> dictatorship in tyranny I can now uh, feel, I can sense the same um, <clears throat> things that starts, start to, to go on, uh, even though uh, it's uh, a very um, a fresh stage, even though uh, it wouldn't be the same type of tyranny uh, or communism, it's just perhaps we unfortunately we're headed towards a modern type, yeah, a new era type of control and uh, <clears throat> dictatorship. Um, I was, uh, I admit, I'm not a hypocrite, I was very concerned and perhaps even scared about the virus itself. Um, uh, that happened in late March when this whole craziness began. Um, but that only uh, stayed with me for like two or three weeks stops. Um, during all this time I was never actually never ever fully convinced this is a real pandemic and this is real. I always had my skepticism. Uh, but um, after two or three weeks, I just it it it, it was just so apparent uh, that something else is going on. Um, uh, nothing was adding up, and um, I, I even more so now after almost six months into this uh, so-called pandemic. It's obvious it's something else that's going on, and you can't even know where to begin to try to explain. Perhaps it's pointless to try to explain to some uh, to somebody who doesn't believe that, who hasn't uh, yet realized. So where could anybody start? Um, uh, we can start with the fake numbers, that uh, is not even a conspiracy th theory anymore. Uh, it's official basically, it's out in the open that the numbers are fake, are inflated to put it gently. And uh, I'm not even sure how many people actually died of COVID alone. Yeah. Uh, fairly young, fit, healthy people who just um, got this virus and they just, because of that only, they died. I I'm not even sure if those people exist, yeah? So it's obvious that 
uh, unfortunately, of course, sadly, only people who most likely would have died in the next few months or years, or year even, uh, died of this. And um, it's clear that all deaths with flu or pneumonia or other type of illnesses are, are uh, marked as COVID. It's, it's even so obvious that people who die, uh, who apparently got tested with COVID uh, and uh, die months later of total something else on the death certificate says COVID. So it's absolutely clear those numbers are fake. But even so, so even if we assume the numbers are real, all these numbers, let's say, are real, even, even in this case, these are none these are not numbers that uh, could generate, that could justify this type of mega hyper uh, resolve reaction. No, not even by far. I mean, it's not even debatable um, here. So even the, the testing, yeah, even it, it's a recent um, news that came up uh, these days that, uh, that, that this so-called testing for COVID uh, it's uh, it's uh, generating about 80 percent, 80 percent, so four cases out of five of false positives. So this test it means nothing. We even had that absolutely here hilarious uh, case of a couple of months back with that uh, president of an African country that uh, um, tested the fruits and goats and uh, sent the samples to a, to a lab without telling the people there they're not from humans and they came positive. No, it's, it's, it would be extremely hilarious if it's not um, actually very uh, uh, concerning. Uh, and all this scaremongering done by media and governments, it's... it's I, I don't really have a, a word uh, for it. They're using these key phrases to keep you in fear. For example, like... Um, uh, one of the key things, yeah, to quarantine healthy people, which is never heard of in the history of mankind, yeah, was that you, even if you are uh, symptomatic, you can pass on the virus to somebody else, yeah. But not even this is true because somebody, like one month ago, or something you can look it up. A, a spokesman for for WHO actually said it's very unlikely that will happen, and then they, of course. Oh my God! How could this sleep? Uh, like we say in my country, in Romania, somebody let the pigeon sleep there. Yeah, so they they got back and retracted and rephrased that and said, no, no, actually we didn't say that. And <laughs> right. So wh where can we go? Uh, shall we go on the official gov.uk, the government website, which in March and it's still there. You can check. In March, stated officially that uh, this COVID thing is not. Uh, high infectious disease so it's but who knows that and who actually takes that um, as a fact which it is a fact yeah so I, I believe 99 percent of the people just take what they hear on tv what the government says and um, th this is their truth yeah so th they can they can lie so easily because they know the critical mass of people the one who, uh, the ones who need to be fooled in order for this scam to work, they will just buy it. Yeah. So so it's it's very simple. Yeah. We can talk about the empty hospitals. Uh, uh, we can talk about the, this is mass geno genocide. Yeah. That, that, that literally there are so many um, testimonials about people who are uh, let um, uh, let alone to die because they don't receive treatment all over the not even in UK. It's in my country as well. It's it's uh, literally all, all, all over the world and the ho hospitals are empty yeah so we don't want to strain we don't want to put pressure on the nhs well, what pressure <laughs> it's nothing it's it's so obvious I, I, I i'm puzzled and i'm disturbed that even friends of mine even some of my family uh, and the, uh, people that are educated and are smart and they have all access to so many alternative sources of information <laughs> they still don't see it yet. They, they still believe there's this killer virus out there that, oh my God, is going to wipe us all out. And uh, they don't see anything strange about this mega hyper overreaction about this thing that we literally stop the world. And it's, then, then unfortunately, this is just the beginning. This is what scares me because we can see it clearly now. Yeah, mass mandatory in shops. 
soon enough they will be i suspect I, i'm i'm literally praying to the gods i don't believe in uh, that um I'm paranoid. I'm literally hoping I'm paranoid, but I see it coming. Mask uh, mandatory as soon as you exit the house. Uh, a new one now, mandatory Google's perhaps because the famous Fauci doctor. Yeah, you look it up. It's recent today. It came out. Uh, Fauci just said that. Uh, perhaps it would be a good idea to use mandatory Google's. Yeah, uh, they already discussed in Parliament about mandatory gloves. So they just push it and push it and push it, and at some point, perhaps later on this year or um, uh, next year early, or it doesn't really matter too much in the grand scheme, they will have, of course, a mandatory vaccine, uh, which if you take, you can go back to whatever the normal it, uh, normal would be. Uh, and of course, if you don't take it, it's yet again so obvious. And I, once again, I, I, I pray, I'm paranoid about this, but I don't believe I am. If you won't take the vaccine, um, yeah, your social life for will be basically over they will just uh, put a ban on your shopping your access to um, um, to um, treatments perhaps uh, uh, you won't be able to get a job uh, your boss your company will require it you won't be able to travel and such so said so, yeah you won't, it's it's obvious this is gonna happen you won't be taking the vaccine just you'll be um, forced to just stay home and not have a life anymore so this is what i fear is going on and this is where they are pushing it and another sign that should make people worry is if okay i could have accepted this was a new virus and all governments around the world didn't know how to react to it it was a new thing and they just got scared and say oh we we oh yeah we overreacted we had all these lockdowns that it's obvious now that they kill more people than the virus itself and um yeah it was new it was an overreaction we didn't know but yeah six months into the pandemic you should have realized it was an overreaction yeah of course now theoretically uh, they are easing up but what does this easing up means uh, you are allowed to go in pubs but uh, wear a muzzle over your face and perhaps wear some uh, googles soon or um uh, you are uh, tr uh, you are um, forced to quarantine for 14 days when you uh, get back uh, 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 in, in your country after traveling. So it's not actually easing in. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just going towards the type of um, world order we're gonna live in. Yeah. So people do not see that. People say, oh, it's easing up. No. It's, I wish it was easing up, but it's not. And uh, they're just gonna push it and push it and push it until we are either so scared, one categ main category of people, or either so um, so tired, so sick of it. So and we're just going to say, okay, just give us that vaccine and to get on uh, with our lives. This is, I believe, this is uh, the um, agenda. And I'm disturbed by the compliance, the general compliance I see here with all the masks. And I'm going, I've never, I'm yet to touch a mask let alone wear it i haven't touched a mask even i'm going to shops without wearing a mask uh, so far only i was only confronted confronted it's, it's uh, way too much said uh, in a bookstore it was the cashier who asked me sir can you kindly put a face covering i just told her uh, sorry i'm exempt and it ended there yeah, so and then she helped me find the book. I bought the book. I left, and that was the only thing, only time when it happens. I usually shop in several supermarkets in my neighborhood here. Nobody said anything so far, and I plan on going on like that. Don't be afraid, people. If you don't want to wear a mask, just say you are exempt. Nobody has the right to ask what illness you have. Uh, it's on the gov governmental website. You can cite it there. And that's uh, pretty much it. If somebody makes a fuss, if somebody gets over overly zealous, I just advise you to to leave it. Uh, just take the name because they they will back off when, when you take the name. Say, take, give me your name, please, and you can leave. Leave your shopping there and leave. Uh, most likely, you'll find uh, another shop that won't ask any questions. Yeah, so don't make a fuss. Only only then, uh, if uh, you get into a brawl or something like that, perhaps it's a slight chance that you might get a fine because only the police. Uh, can give you a fine and police won't bother with this only if they are called and so just avoid if somebody asks 
avoid them. Don't be ashamed. Don't don't be afraid not to uh, wear a mask. I saw a poor gentleman uh, yesterday in a Tesco store. He didn't have a mask, and he was like, <laughs> he, uh, he got his T-shirt and put his. He, he was at the till and uh, put his nose, his face into his T-shirt like that. I was like, I don't want to sound rude now, but in, and I know I'm judgmental, but I was like in my mind, come on, man, show some backbone. You obviously don't want to wear a, a mask, yeah. Just act naturally, yeah. Don't 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 uh, be afraid to just act natural without a mask, yeah. So um, yeah, uh, that that's my uh, view uh, on it. Um, um going back to my previous idea so i'm not sure if i finished it so after what six months into this whole madness uh, almost I, I, uh, if uh, it wasn't a very dark agenda behind it they would have said oh sorry we overreacted because it's absolutely obviously clear they overreacted we overreacted and um uh, let's get back to normal let's ease all this crap all this restriction and all that they, they wouldn't even uh, um, uh, need to say it they could just relax it and uh, uh, that would be it but given the fact they still push it it's obvious uh, it's something else behind it so it, it wasn't a mistake an overreaction by fear from the government no, no, uh, not at all so uh, in a, um, uh, yeah I, I know people will say yeah, yeah but what, are you an expert are you a um, um, expert in viruses and all. No, no, you don't need to, to be an expert. You just need to have common sense and to look up uh, your own information. And I've been doing that for six months. And I've been uh, um, looking at the, these so many opinions from other qualified people, doctors and experts, all being censored. You, you know that they're censored. You, you can't have another opinion because you are censored uh, right off the bat. And... Um, for me, in my my personal view is is that if nobody would have talked ever about this so-called pandemic, nobody would have known. I'm, I mean, the population, the human race as a whole, would have go about it like every other year. There were some, of course, some people who would have died, like the flu, pneumonia, and all other things. Maybe it would have been like a like a more severe type of flu, but 99.9 percent .9 of these people. Uh, no, would have had no clue that it was a deadly virus out there. Yeah, this is all made up, and uh, it's made up with um, yeah, God knows what agenda in mind. Of course, there are several conspiracies. Conspiracies, yeah. I believe in in some of them uh, uh, more than I believe in others. Uh, I can't say which one is true. Yeah. So once again, I'm I'm, I'm very aware of what I'm saying here i'm not i can't say what's it's behind it i'm just saying this is definitely not it yeah i'm just saying look around you folks there's no where's the virus where's the madness we've been had guys yeah I'm, I'm just saying this is not real what is going on and it's something else um this whole virus it, it's actually a smoke screen so uh, um uh, i believe unless we push back unless we start to uh, unless we stop complying with these rules individu uh, individually and also as a collective until we find that critical mass we need to find the critical mass of people who just stops complying with this this is the key when when, when we'll get there they, they won't be able to to force it uh, upon us whatever the um, uh, agenda is yeah so we don't know what the real agenda is could be several theories that will come true in the next months uh, and um, years but uh, yeah you know what uh, how it is yeah throughout the history uh, there are so many conspiracy theory, theory that came true then even even this term conspiracy theory it's it, they put a shame on it you're like a crazy conspiracy theorist what is a conspiracy theory I will give you the logical popular uh, definition uh, of that that is a conspiracy theory is a theory that doesn't go with the official narrative yeah so doesn't it's something that opposes the um, um, official statements and guidance the mainstream media and the government give you yeah so basically you are a conspiracy theorist if you believe something else or if you say i don't believe what this 
government is telling me, I don't believe what this media is telling me. So whoever places this shame or, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I'm rather a conspiracy theorist than a naive, uh, uh, naive person, to put it extremely gently, who just believes whatever the media and the government says. Yeah, of course, I'm not saying now you need to believe all conspiracy theories. No, just use your common sense, use your brain, do your research. And it's very, very likely in situations like this pandemic, you will come across some other truth. Your own truth might be different than uh, what you're being told. And that doesn't mean you're a conspiracy theorist. Uh, it's so scary and shameful that even... F uh, I'll give you a quick example and I'm about to finish. Uh, um site like Wikipedia uh, has taken this stance of just killing off the bat any any alternative version of what this is. I, I noticed that on several pages and even if you go, so if you go on the Wikipedia website and just type conspiracy theory, um, in the first two paragraphs, basically uh, they say that whoever believes uh, in uh, a conspiracy theory is a nutcase. Yeah, so this is on the wiki. It might be my fault. I'm not sure how this page looked before this pandemic. So I might be wrong here. Maybe it was like that long ago as well. But nevertheless, the way they presented it, it's so manipulative. Yeah, so they actually say in, in uh, uh, that uh, uh, research suggests that conspiracies uh, ideation, belief in conspiracy theories can be psychological, harmful, or pathological. Oh my! And uh, on the next paragraph, they actually say psychologists attribute finding a conspiracy where there is none to a mental illness called illusory pattern perception. So it's they they are everywhere with this. Yeah, they they kill off the bat any idea that goes um, that goes against their narrative. They censor all the doctors and experts that have another opinion. It's You can't say anything against it. You are, you are uh, considered crazy. You are uh, censored. Uh, they delete your video. They ban your YouTube channel. Uh, either you are a sim simple person who just has an opinion or an expert or a doctor. They, they, they put shame on it. They, they kill it right off the bat. So you, you can't have... Um, uh, any uh, saying uh, at all in uh, in this, and um, as I said, hopefully uh, we can stay strong and go um, through that. And uh, hopefully, I am paranoid. I really believe I am paranoid, and uh, I would be the first one who say, "Hey, look, guys, I was wrong. Look, it, it's it's good. It's not so bad as I as I thought it would be." But as I said, I, I sense tyranny when I see it, um, and. Um, uh, all the signs are, are showing that. So, um, and uh, one, one last, uh, uh, <laughs> I would say it's a fun fact, uh, but uh, one last food for thought. Uh, it's not fun, of course, actually. Um, if you look up in many countries, uh, you'll find out that, uh, the, the data in many countries, you'll find out that, that the average death of people who died with or from COVID, let's leave that, the average death of COVID victims, so to speak, is higher than the life expectancy in that particular country. So, come on, what, what does that tell you? Yeah, people that were about to die anyway, poor souls, bless them. Yeah, I don't want to sound harsh, but I'm just cynical here. I'm just stating the cold truth. People who were about to die in the next month or year or so uh, died with this thing and they say COVID killed them. Yeah. Open up, um, open your eyes, people. As I said, look around you. You don't know anybody who has this. Um, uh, I, 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 I'm in the stage. I don't know everybody, anybody who knows anybody who has this. Let alone die from it. And also remember all those um, uh, public figures who come up and say, uh, starting with Tom Hanks five months ago, when was, oh, I have tested positive for COVID, for COVID, huh? and how many of them? Thousands of them so far have uh, uh, come out with this, but how many of them died? How many? Tell you. Zero. None. Zero. Um, why? You, you answer to that. So 
Wouldn't you say that if this was such a deadly, scary pandemic, you would have heard of famous people, yeah, known people, well-known people that were healthy and fit and young and all that and died alone of this and still you haven't heard of you, you just hear oh uh, uh, that guy that famous figure tested positive for covid um, and then uh, two months uh, two weeks later uh, he cured well, of course yeah <laughs> all right so um, yeah. yeah just do your own research people stay strong and uh, keep your hope uh, up and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, through this all the best from london